Hello, welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. So, in this episode, we are going to look at example two for solving series parallel circuits. So, when you look at this example, it says calculate the equivalent resistance. And we have our circuit over here. So, when you look at the circuit, there are a lot of resistors. Some are connected in series and parallel. And it's a whole lot. So we are to reduce this circuit into an equivalent resistance, which will produce, meaning it is going to produce the same effect as all these resistors. We are going to calculate for one resistance that is going to produce the same effect. And how are we going to achieve this? We are going to solve it systematically, going to consider those in series and those parallel to each other so let's look at how we can do this first we know that when two resistors are in series we just sum them so when we talk about the series connection we are going to sum them that is going to be r1 plus r2 and when we talk about those in parallel we are also going to say the R total for two resistors is going to be R1 plus R2, which implies that our R total is going to be R1 multiplying R2 on R1 plus R2. I'll be using this expression in this episode for parallel connections. So let's start with the diagram. Now, we can see that this 20 ohm resistor and this 5 ohm resistor are in parallel connection because the current flowing through this part is not the same as this part. So they are parallel to each other, the 5 ohm and the 20 ohm resistor. So can we say the 20 ohm resistor is parallel to the 5 ohm resistor? So solving for that, we are going to say our total resistance for the two is going to be from this expression. Since they are in parallel, that is going to be 20 multiplying 5 on 20 plus 5. And with this, we are going to get your 4 ohms. So these two resistors that are parallel to each other the equivalent resistance for the two is four ohms, and we are now having it. So we can draw our diagram again to see how simplified it has become without the two, or how the two has been reduced to a single resistor. So let's look at the diagram now. So I want to reduce it from the question now. So can we say this is now off and the two now is in this form. We now have this form here as our four ohm. Are we okay? So the equivalent for the two is four ohm. What can we do again? When we look at this four ohms resistor, if say current I1 is passing through it, this same current will pass through this resistor of what? One ohm. So meaning the four ohm resistor is in series with the one ohm. Are we okay? So we can also solve for the two of them. Let's look at how it is going to be. So we can see this four is in series with this one. And the equivalent resistance is going to be the summation of the 4 ohm plus the 1 ohm. And that is going to give us 5 ohms for that. So meaning the 2 can also be reduced now. So I'm going to reduce it from the diagram. And we will see this. These two resistors, this and this, has been reduced once again. So we are going to have something like this. So we have something like this as one resistor for the two of them. 
So that is 5 ohms. Is that right? So we can do further activity. So now, can we look at this 20 ohms resistor and this 5? Are they in series or parallel? They are parallel to each other because at this junction, a current will pass here and one current is also going to pass here. They are not of equal magnitude. So they are parallel to each other. So can we say the 20 ohm resistor is also parallel to this 5 ohm resistor? And we are going to solve for the two of them. Are we good? So now that is going to be 20 by 5 on 20 plus 5. And as we already saw here for the same, then we are going to get 4 ohms for the 2. And we can now reduce this 2 to a single resistance. So let's look at how it is going to be. So this is now out. This is also now out. Let's look at the equivalent. So the two of them is going to form in such a way. So we have this, which is our 4 ohms for the two. Now, can we see something I'm saying here? This 4 ohms is in series with this two because the same current coming here is passing through them and it is passing through the same resistor. So they are in series. So we can solve it as a series resistor. So our resistor 4 ohm is in series with the 2 ohm. And we can also solve for that. And that is going to be 4 plus 2. Everything in ohms. That is going to be. Now this is giving us 6 ohms resistance. So now the series combination of this 2 and this 4 ohm resistor is giving us what? 6. So let's look at now how the diagram is reduced and draw for the 2. So it is going to be in this form for combining the 2 of them. So I'm going to have it this way. And this is the equivalent combining with this as 6 ohms. So now this is the equivalent diagram that we have using the reduction approach. So let's see. What do we see again? We can see that this 9 ohm resistance or resistor is in parallel to this 6, right? So it is parallel to the 6 because the current flowing here is different from the current here. So let's solve the two of them using the parallel approach. So I'm going to say the 9 ohm resistor is parallel to the 6 ohm resistor this way. And we know that it is going to be 9 multiplying 6 by 9 plus 6. And this is going to give us 3.6 ohm for the equivalent. So now I have combined the effect of these two resistors. Let's look at how it can reduce to form 1. So this will be out because they are now combining to form 1. So this is what I'm going to have. I still have this here and the two of them is going to combine to give me an effect of that. So this is now the 3.6 ohm resistor. What can we see again? Since the current here is also different from the current here, the 18 ohms resistor is parallel to this 3.6. Six. So can we say the 18 ohm is parallel to the 3.6 ohm? And that is also going to give me 18 multiplying 3.6 on 18 plus 3.6. And this is going to give me 3 ohms. So now we have 3 ohms for the effect of these two resistors. Let's combine it and draw equivalent diagram and see how it is going to look like. 
so it is going to this now is going to be off this is going to be off and the two of them is going to give me equivalent in this form which is 3 ohm so now we only have two left and when you look at it, the same current is flowing through so they are in series meaning the 6 ohm is in series to the 3 ohm and this will now give us the equivalent resistance which is going to be 6 ohm plus, plus 3 ohm and that is going to be 9 ohm for the equivalent resistance so for the diagram that we had the equivalent resistance is 9 ohms are we okay so this 9 ohms is now in this form just a single of them say this way so which is 9 ohm that way so the diagram is now reduced to this form but with a resistance of 9 ohms it will produce the same effect as what we saw so the strategy is you have to tackle the resistors two by two or three by three if they are in series or they are in parallel using the reduction approach and you'll be able to solve and get your equivalent resistance thank you for watching this episode subscribe to the channel like share the video and let's check out for the next episode